welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Little Latina and I make videos on holistic health, beauty, exercise, workouts, things of that nature. And today I'm going to be talking about my holistic routine that involves my skincare, my hair care, and my overall body health. So recently I've been trying out a lot of methods to go as natural as possible. I really don't like the ingredients in most of these modern products. They have very unhealthy side effects. A lot of these are estrogen mimicking side effects. A lot of these chemicals are very intense and will severely disrupt your hormone balance, which will cause a lot of fertility issues, and incredible PMS symptoms, which are unnatural by the way. Once I switched from the products I was using to these holistic methods, I noticed that all of that disappeared. I have no more cramps anymore and I don't have any of the symptoms of unhealthy hormonal balance that I used to have when I was using a lot of these toxic chemicals. So let's begin right away with one of the easiest things to do and that is skincare. Now, I never really did much for skincare, but I've implemented to a lot healthier, more holistic version of skincare, basically 100% and it's actually quite easy to switch. So the first thing I do is I dampen my face with clove water. This is not peroxide, this is just the bottle I use, but this is full of homemade clove water. Now clove water is really good because it is a antibacterial, so clove water is super affordable to make and very easy to make as well. I do 10 cloves per one cup of water, boil that, let it steep for like five minutes, and then strain it out. And that's what I'll use to dampen my face before I apply my face oils. You can buy organic clothes from the link in my bio. It's gonna be under the Pure Indian Foods. And you can get a little container that's gonna last you for quite a while. Now, next up, we can talk about my face oils. So the first moisturizer I will use is castor oil. And I've talked about this on my channel before, but in reference to how it will grow your lashes and eyebrows. But castor oil is a really good deep moisturizer which is going to last really long on the skin and give you long-term results. Castor oil is really good for the eyes as well. Rubbing it on top of the eyelid will help soothe your eyes and help promote better eye health. So I will use about three or four drops of this on my already damp clove water sprayed skin. Then after I have a few drops of that I will add some vitamin E oil. You can supplement this with black seed oil as well. I have a video about that somewhere up here that you can check out. I've just been wanting to save the black seed oil, so I haven't been using it as much. But I have this, so I will use it. Now, these two I have linked in my Amazon store, so if you want to purchase your own, you can just check out my description. Now, the very last thing I've been using that I found to be kind of the most helpful so far I supplement this for the black seed oil so you can intertwine these two. It is the rose hip oil and I got this off of Etsy. It's very important that all of your oils are also in amber glass. So as you notice, they're all going to be in that dark glass. But I will just take a few drops of this. It's a very thin oil so it, it comes out a lot. These are very viscosis oils so it comes out a lot slower like honey. And then you want to gently massage it onto the skin all over the skin, even on your ears and down your neck. Now, another thing I do is once a month, I will do this Mediterranean red clay face mask. There's another face mask I like right here. I kind of prefer this one. I just haven't had it for a really long time. So I just use this. And I will do one tablespoon of that powder and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I will let that rest onto my skin until it's completely dry. And then I will just rinse it out with water in the shower. This really, really helps my skin quite a bit. You can see after you take it off just how fresh and rejuvenated your skin looks. And once you apply the natural skincare oils, you're like, whoa, my skin and face is glowing. And you just feel like a layer of dirt just like come off of your face. So it's a really satisfying feeling and it's very healthy. Now for my lips, I will just use this basic lip balm. 
This is Rose and Hibiscus by Better Living at Home. I got this on Etsy. Now this one's, I guess, expensive. This is $5 for a little one like this, but here, this is what it looks like. But it is filled all the way to the top and it's one of these little push-throughs. I like that it's also all like uh, cardboard. So it's good for the environment. But it smells like hibiscus. She has a whole bunch of like different smells if you don't really like this one. But I got two of these and they last a long time and they work really good. Now when it comes to my teeth, I like to either oil pull with coconut oil and then rinse it out with warm salt water and also brush my teeth with this neem bark tooth powder. I got this off of Pure Indian Foods, link in the description. And this works really well and it smells incredible. It smells like Thanksgiving, so it has like a lot of that pumpkin cinnamon clove pecan smell, so it's really really nice. And I've had this, this smells so good. I've had this for six months and it's just now becoming half full. And I brush my teeth about twice a day. So using something twice a day for six months and it's only halfway gone, you know, I think that's a pretty good investment. It's really affordable as well. And you can use this with or without toothpaste. I like to do just a tiny, tiny bit of toothpaste. I use Tom's right now, but once I finish up all my tubes, I'm just gonna go to this only. So I would definitely recommend getting this because it's really, really high quality and it smells great and it actually leaves no mess in the sink. So you can just spray it with some water and then it's done. For hair care is that this is a really good hair care moisturizer. You can use this to do a deep oil treatment and let this soak into your hair and then the next day wash it out with your own homemade shampoo or maybe like a very natural shampoo. So now going on to hair care, this is something that I use quite frequently. I will use this to moisturize the ends of my hair. As you can see, the ends here are a little bit, a little bit dead because they are so old and I used to dye my hair so it's a little rough down there. But every few months I will give my hair a trim and I have noticed that that has allowed my hair to grow faster and be overall healthier. So I will use this tiny little, little scissors to trim split ends and then I'll just use a regular hair cutting scissor to cut off maybe like half an inch whenever a few months pass and I feel like I have had some more growth. I have noticed that the growth actually has been pretty nice because it was just under, uh, maybe just at about the rib and now this is beneath the rib and this is the fastest my hair has really grown. So within the next few months, I will definitely do a little hair trim and that really has made a big difference in how fast my hair has grown. And I used to be one of the people that would always hold out on haircuts, but it actually makes a really big difference. Now, I've been trying to go as natural as possible with hair care, so I'm still really learning about what I like and don't like, but I've done a few apple cider hair rinses. Um, I don't really know the correct amount to use, but I just did my most recent apple cider vinegar rinse two days ago and that's all I did. I didn't put any baking soda, I didn't do any shampoo, I didn't put any oil. All I did was come back from tennis being pretty sweaty. I did about half a cup of apple cider and then probably like two cups of water and I just rubbed it all into my hair on the top of the scalp and just drenched the entire thing. But apple cider vinegar does have a lot of health benefits. This is really good to drink and it's also good for skin care. Another part of my hair care that's really important is the brushes that you use. I like to use a small bamboo brush. I find that the tiny version is easier for me to clean and also it has the best results on hair. The bigger ones don't really work as well and I found that this oval shape works really good on my hair so i like to just brush it out a lot to help distribute the natural oils in my hair to the end and this is the softest my hair has ever been in my entire life so um it definitely works i can say that now you can get your own of these on amazon i had them linked on my storefront as well so you can have your very own as you can see 
my hair is pretty long so this brush is very very effective also i don't use this one near as often but it is still really effective i have a boar bristle brush this is probably the most expensive item out of everything i've shown you so you don't really have to get this one but i find that this one is still really good i like to pair it with my bamboo brush this one, you have to really comb through a lot more with this one. They really pair together nicely. So if you're going to switch to a more holistic approach, you will have to spend a little bit more up front. But in the long term, this is gonna last you significantly more uses and it's gonna have more long-term health benefits and you're not gonna have to rebuy products as much. Now, my most probably non-healthy item that I use is going to be this Lubriderm Lotion. And honestly, this lasts me such, such a long time. And it's actually really good. It's one of the most effective lotions I've ever used. And there's no fragrance, so I feel like it's not that bad. I will add about three to four drops of rosehip oil to the lotion though, and then I will just put it over my entire body. So it's really simple. This is all I do for it. I don't do any like fancy scented lotions, but that that's it. So if any of you have holistic or natural lotions that you use or like recipes, I would appreciate it if you left a comment, but that is what I use. This is also on my Amazon store, so you can go in the description and purchase that if you would like. Now for deodorant, I go completely natural. I have here some baking soda and coconut oil. As you see, the coconut oil is just sitting at the top. My apartment's pretty hot, we don't really keep it that cold, so the coconut oil never really gets hard and doesn't really mix together. But all I do is I'll just like kind of move the coconut oil to the side, and then I'll just scoop out that paste you see with my fingers, and then rub it onto my armpits. So this is one cup of coconut oil, probably one, maybe two cups of baking soda. And then I added about anywhere from like five to 10 drops of this lavender essential oil. And voila, that is my deodorant. This deodorant, it basically lasts until you take a shower and like wipe it off. This is really, really potent. And I like that there's not that much of a smell to it. And it's really affordable and easy to make. You can find baking soda everywhere, coconut oil everywhere, essential oil everywhere. So it's really simple to make and easier to use. I like to use just basic soaps. So a plain Castile soap, a plain Yardley soap, your own homemade soap. But any scentless soap I like to use, I'll just lather it in my hands and then wipe everywhere and when it comes to cleaning your private areas the number two area i will wipe with soap and water but the front area where you go pee i only rinse out with water i just make sure to try and get around the labia folds and like rinse it out with water sometimes i will go and like kind of move the folds a little and make sure with like a little butt wipe or like a wet damp cloth i'll kind of like clean out the folds so there's none of that Sometimes you'll get like a little bit of like, I guess it's yeast built up or just kind of like overall just like dirt. So you have to clean that up. So it's a really easy clean. It takes like two minutes max. But as long as you stay up to date with that, you're really not going to have that much. So you can clean it really fast. But that's all I do with my body. I don't do any fancy body washes. I just use a nice plain soap. I don't like any scents. Um, actually, I do use a lavender soap sometimes from Magical Loving Essence. That is the brand my mom actually makes. So I use the lavender soap. I like it a lot. It's very subtle and natural. I will use that sometimes and I never put that on my privates. I just put it on my skin only and sometimes I'll put it on my face. So that is all that I do for washing my body. Occasionally, I will take a cotton cloth and if I notice any like dirt build up on my skin and while my skin is pretty damp, I will like kind of scrub it and that's how I will exfoliate. I notice sometimes I get like build up right here in the crevices or like, like right there on my thighs. So when that's damp, I will just like scrub it with a cotton cloth 
and then it, it all comes off and then you're fine. I also like to file my nails. At the moment, they're a little wacky. This one just ripped off the other day because I was like picking up some fruit and then it just ripped it off, so it was pretty painful. But I like to use the nail filers that um, are used for like the fake acrylics. I find that these work the most effectively on real nails and they give you a really good cut very quickly so if you can buy one of these like tiny ones or maybe get one of those like fake nail sets on amazon um you can get one of these nail filers and they work really really nicely so once you let the nails grow out they'll come out pretty nice as you can see most of them are pretty nice on this hand my middle fingers always just struggle the most for whatever reason like my thumbs and pinkies will have non-stop nails all the time but middle fingers Middle fingers struggle a lot. Basically, the most important part of holistic living is your diet. So, drinking lots of water, and I also like to add Celtic sea salt to my water so that it has all of its necessary minerals. That makes the water taste a lot better, and you'll notice that you don't get dehydrated near as much. I also like to drink a lot of herbal infusions, primarily like hibiscus or raspberry leaf tea, or herbal infusion is technically what it's called, um, but lemon water I really enjoy. I make a really nice ginger tea or a ginger clove tea. Ginger is really good for your hormones and hibiscus tea is really good as well. So ginger and hibiscus are definitely something you want to incorporate more into your diet and you will be very appreciative of it when you see the results. I like to also eat as much organic as I can. I know it can be a little pricey, but basically if you're trying to eat whole foods, like lots of fruits, vegetables, you're going to be a lot healthier than you would be if you're not. I also eat lots of quinoa and lentils. That's very affordable food. Um, wild rice or brown rice. Brown rice is more available and affordable. I like to have a decent amount of oatmeal. It's really affordable as well, but I like to pair it with like some cinnamon, pecans and walnuts. Nuts and seeds are a little bit more expensive, but they're also really, really good for you. Um, I like to have lots of baked carrots. It's an easy way to ingest vegetables that taste really, really good. And since carrots are so sweet, it actually tastes really nice. So I'll use olive oil, salt, and a little bit of the everything seasoning and use that to make baked carrots and it's really good. Um, so really your diet is gonna be basically the most important factor to having a healthy external look about you. And if you study traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda, Ayurveda, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but they talk about frequently how your body will show you what you're lacking internally, externally. So if you have acne located in certain spots, if you have dark circles, if you have like discoloration, um, problem with your eyes, those are signs that there's something wrong internally, and then you have to externally fix that by eating certain foods, right? So you can also study that to learn more about being healthy but truly being holistic it's mainly about the health that you're ingesting because you can use all the products I just talked about but if you're still eating tons of junk food drinking tons of soda taking a bunch of pills getting vaccines it's it's not gonna do much for you you have to just be as natural as possible to get the best results and they're gonna be the most long-term results that give you basically no side effects at all. So there's really no negative consequences to this lifestyle. So it's really affordable and it's you're gonna find that you enjoy your life a lot more when you're natural. So hopefully these products helped you. Hopefully they um, gave you a good idea on what you should use, what you shouldn't use. Um, maybe you like how I look and you want to try and with that, um, but yeah, it's really simple, very, very affordable for the most part, and I believe that anyone, if you have the desire, can do this and achieve whatever goals or look you want. But thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you being here, and if you want to see more videos like this, you can check out some of my playlists, or if you're interested in seeing a video I haven't made yet, you can just leave a comment. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and... Wow, have a beautiful day.